Hi, I'm Charlie Love, and this is a Google Workspace admin video brought to you by Apps Events and Acer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up password requirements for managed mobile devices. Require admin approval for new devices to access your managed Google Workspace domain, and how to add company owned devices for both Android and iOS. This video builds on my previous admin video, Get Started with Advanced Mobile Management Part 1. So make sure you check that out to set the scene for what we're going to do in this video. So let's talk about setting password requirements for managed mobile devices. If you have basic management set up, then you can only set the requirement to have a screen lock or password set on the device. Remember, basic mobile management doesn't require the device policy app to be installed. Basic mobile management is turned on by default in Google Workspace and provides a minimum level of security for your data. I'll quickly show you where the basic settings are. Remember, these are minimum requirements and won't give you the protection to wipe a compromised device, but will allow you as an admin to remove accounts that access your data from the device. All the settings I'm going to demo in this video will be applied to an OU called School Demo. You can, of course, apply these settings to any OU or to your entire organization as you need. I recommend that you test policy changes such as these on a single OU before applying them to a larger number of users. So, to set the basic option to require a screen lock or password, open the Google Admin Console for your domain. Go to Devices. On the left, click Mobile Endpoints, Settings, Universal Settings, click General, Password Requirements. To apply the setting to everyone, leave the top OU selected. Otherwise, select a child OU. In our case, I'm going to use the school demo OU. Check the require users to set a password box. Select basic. If you use basic mobile device management, want to require passwords on devices earlier than Android 6.0, check the required users of pre-Android 6.0 devices to set a password box. Click Save. If you configured a child OU, you might be able to inherit or override a parent OU settings here. So that just enforces the need to have a screen lock or password on the device. To securely manage your devices, you need advanced mobile management. Advanced mobile management gives admins the ability to set passcode or password requirements for devices. I've already turned on advanced mobile management for my demo OU. I did that in the previous video, so let's go a little further and set up some stronger password management rules for our devices. To set password requirements, open your admin console. Go to Devices. On the left, click Mobile and Endpoints, Settings, Universal Settings. Click General, Password Requirements. Check the Require Users to set a password box. Choose a password strength. If you choose standard, then screen lock patterns are not accepted. A password can contain any characters in any order. But if you choose strong, then you can set specific requirements for the password. I'm going to choose strong. For minimum characters, enter a minimum password length. Strong passwords should have three or more characters is the default here, but I'm going to change that to eight. Optionally, to lock the device screen after it's inactive for some time, select a time from the set time until screen locks menu. This setting overrides mobile devices default values. So for example, iPhones have a five minute default, iPads have a 15 minute default. I'm going to leave this as one minute. Also, you can prompt users to reset their passwords regularly. Check the set a password lifespan box and enter the number of days. I'm going to set this to 180, so every six months, users need to change their device password. You can also prevent the reuse of expired passwords. To do this, check the block expired passwords box and enter the number of previous passwords that can't be used again. For example, enter two to block the user from reusing the last two device passwords. 
I'll keep the default, which is that you can't reuse your last three passwords. You can opt to automatically wipe a device when too many incorrect password attempts have been made. Be careful with this setting, as you don't want to wipe devices without really needing to. To set up this option, check the wipe device after failed attempts box and enter a number. On iOS, the user gets one less failed attempt than on Android. So on Android, if you enter five, after the fifth failed attempt, the device is wiped and reset to its factory settings. But on iOS, if you enter five, after the fourth failed attempt, the device is wiped and reset to its factory settings. I'm not going to enable this setting. If a user's device is lost or stolen, then we can still wipe it from the admin console. You need to carefully think about this setting and how it applies to your use case and if it's appropriate to use. I'm selecting the strong password options. So here I can override the one character, one number and one symbol requirement for Android devices. Check the apply custom strength settings for, the, for Android box and select the requirements. Click save. If you've configured a child or use such as I have, you might be able to inherit or override the parent or use settings here. Once you've clicked save, these settings are applied to the device. Let's see what that looks like. Here I am adding an account for this domain to my Android device. In this case, my Android settings enforce a work profile. This profile separates my work Google account from my personal account. The IT administrator can manage data and apps that I need for my work without having any impact on my personal data. As a user of a work profile, I can also pause work apps outside of work hours so I don't get interrupted by work notifications. Once the profile is registered, I'll be asked to set up any security requirements. In this case, I already have a basic passcode on my device, but I now need to strengthen the security by using a stronger password. I do get an option to set the password just for my work profile, but for now, I'll set the password for the device. This device password can't be reset by your workspace admin, so you need to remember it. Once I've set the new device password, I'm asked to install the apps for my work profile. And that's it. Once the setup is done, I have a work profile with my work apps and my device meets the security requirements for my organization. The work profile on the device segments my work apps from my personal ones and depending on how the work profile is configured, can secure your work data on your phone. I'll spend more time talking about work profiles in the next video in this series. As an admin, you can control which devices can be added to your workspace domain by requiring admin approval of newly added devices. Let's turn this setting on for our school demo or you. Go to the admin console, go to devices, on the left, click Mobile and Endpoints, Settings, Universal Settings. Click Security, Device Approvals. To apply the setting to everyone, leave the top OU selected. I'm going to do this for my school demo OU, so I'm going to select my school demo OU folder. Check the Require Admin Approval box. To receive email notifications of requests, you can enter an email address to get notifications when users enroll their devices and require approval before they can access their work data. So some good practice here is to use a group email address that includes all administrators who can approve devices rather than an individual email address. Click Save. If you configured a child or you, you might be able to inherit or override a parent OU settings here. Now, when a user adds their account to the device, they will get an error message until the device is approved by an admin. These devices are added to a list of pending devices. To prevent a device syncing, you can block it. To allow it to sync, approve it. If you want the user to sign in again, then delete the device. If your addition of Google Workspace supports it, you can automatically approve and block devices. 
Once the device is approved, the user will be able to access corporate data from the device. As an admin, you can also set up company-owned devices. Typically, this uses the device serial number to recognize the device as company-owned. As this video is about mobile devices, we'll focus on Android and iOS. However, it's also possible to add endpoint devices that are Apple Mac, Chrome OS, Linux, and Microsoft Windows, and say that they are all company-owned resources. Android company-owned devices will skip device approvals and will have the greatest number of managed features. So for company-owned devices, you can get inactive device reports and show devices in your company inventory. To add an Android device to your company inventory, go to the admin console. Go to devices, on the left click mobile and endpoints, company owned inventory to see your company owned devices. At the top, click import company owned devices, select the type of device you want to import and click download import template. Enter your details. There is a hundred thousand limit per file. Use a new line for each device. Open the template file, enter the serial numbers and optionally any asset tags for one or more of the devices you want to add. Save the file. Go back to the admin console and click upload file. When the import completes, you get an email with a summary of the results. You can also download a log of the upload that lists the row, number, values, and upload status. Now you have company-owned devices, any accounts added on these devices will be automatically approved and will have some enhanced reporting. And that's it for this Google Workspace admin video. Today I've covered how we can set password requirements for managed mobile devices, set up admin approvals for mobile devices, and upload company-owned mobile devices. In the next video, we'll look more closely at settings to strengthen the protection of your data using work profiles and other settings. I'm Charlie Love, and this video has been brought to you by Apps Events and Acer.